everybody welcome back to the channel we are coming in today for part two so hopefully you have caught um, part one which was up on yesterday and if you haven't make sure you go back and check out the virtual shopping we did with Eloquy new arrivals and the seven patterns that I picked for that and yeah we're gonna jump in today for part two this uh, final part of the mood board my 2018 mood board so if you saw the video from yesterday you know I kind of went into the mood board when it was created and why and all this different stuff and then I have a more extensive video about style and um, how how my style was chosen and all that for the mood board I didn't want to go over that in this video or yesterday's video so I will link to that original video that talks about all of that um, because this was done as you know um, here in Texas at a sewing um, fashionistas meetup group that is ran by Roz from so much who owns so much fabric many of you have purchased her fabrics before and so yeah so I am so excited thank you all for tuning in today and welcome to all my new subscribers I hope you are enjoying this series and so yeah let's jump right in because we have um today we have 10 looks actually to go through um let's start right up at the top this is and i'm going to be looking down because my mood board is in front of me and my notes are in front of me um so this first look is this pink um jacket with this uh kind of i would say deep turquoise dress underneath looks like an a-line dress this is so cute i thought um again in some of these patterns i love that i'll be most of the patterns i'm telling you about I do have in my stash and some of them I'll be able to use for multiple looks here which I love there's a couple that I might have to get but for the most part I have all of these patterns so for the pink jacket again I have the out of print simplicity 4302 um, this is a Kalayla Ali pattern and I think that I using one of those looks there's what five different looks on that pattern and the line drawing Yes, for sure, we'll be able to um, use that to get that look of the jacket. Now for the dress, easily I could use the, I was thinking something simple, like maybe a sleeveless Dora, the Rebecca Page Dora lady skater dress, um, shortened a little bit, or um, the cashmere, now the cashmere one is a knit. I can't tell in the picture if this is a knit or a, um, or a woven and again I think I said this in my video yesterday some of these pictures I couldn't refine on Pinterest I thought I had them saved in a, in a um, certain um, board but I didn't and so I lost some of them so I had to kind of recreate um, my mood board in Pinterest um, but some of these might be a little grainy because I had to take pictures with my camera in order to uh, find that look um, to show you today so I can't tell if that's a woven or a knit but I was thinking even the Turner dress may work for um, the cashmere red Turner dress will work for that. That would be cute. And um, I would even go about maybe playing with um, the Turner being sleeveless. Now you all know the Turner is a um, fully lined bodice. So to make that sleeveless, I would have to give that a think. But to save myself time, <laughs> I will probably do the Dora Lady skater dress, uh, which is a woven to wear up underneath and maybe shorten the, the skirt part a little bit. Now this look with the wrap top and the polka dot skirt, um, I would totally do. Um, I would think the Rebecca Page, um, her pleated skirt pattern would be really good because she has few to, a lot of different options for that uh, pleated skirt pattern. Um, and then, or the cashmere Upton. Now the Upton, as many of you know, um, she has a hack or um, a blog um, post on her website on just doing the skirt alone, just the pleated skirt alone. And so I could totally do that <clears throat> skirt, um, either one of those to get the polka dot skirt look. Now for this top, I had purchased a couple months back the McCall 7817. I would do view C and just make it a short sleeve. I thought that would be a perfect top to go with that type of skirt. Now remember, I am not looking to sew up all of these this year or anything like that. This year is to give me some project ideas when I'm thinking about, oh, what could I make next? Different stuff like that. I have some filler projects here from my mood board as well as from um, 
the Eloquy <clears throat> uh, virtual shopping where I pick seven patterns. And so these are by all means not things I'm making up here in the next month or two. It's going to take me quite some time. Maybe by this time next year, I maybe might be done. <laughs> um, the next look is this, which is so cute, this floral uh, jacket with some um, pants and it looks like a nice little cami up underneath. Now the, um, the jacket, easy breezy, again, I would use 4302. This, um, again, out of print uh, Kalayla Ali pattern I thought would be work perfect. That um, cami underneath, all day long, Rebecca Page strappy cami. You all know I made several of these before. That will go perfect. And the pants, I would totally do the Calder pants um, to get that whole look. I think that look is absolutely gorgeous. And so, yeah, I would totally, totally do that. Um, this next look is the floral um, dress I have made this and I actually made this in 2018 when I did my mood board. This was for um, our anniversary trip we had took to Florida that year and I kind of did a whole anniversary collection. I, I'll leave the link to that but um, that dress is actually Vogue. I did not write down the number. Is it 8092? If I got that wrong I'll put that on the screen but um, I did do um, the Vogue dress and um, but I did not do a belt because I believe this was belt or it might have been elasticized but I know I wasn't doing that so um, I what did I do since did I cinch that in I don't exactly remember but at any rate that is the uh, pattern that I used to create that look and it's so pretty love it love it um, now I haven't worn it since that then. I'm thinking about turning that dress, using that fabric for something else. Cause it was a pretty pricey fabric. It was one that I got from Stitchy Bee, um, uh, who's in the UK. And so, yeah, that was kind of a pricey fabric, but it's absolutely gorgeous. It's a Georgette. It is just beautiful. But I was thinking, huh, I was thinking about making that into a different, um, using that fabric for something else, but we'll see what that would be. Okay, now moving to the camel or tan pants with the leopard top and then the cardigan. This again, very easy. The pants, I would do the Calder pants, no problem. That leopard print top underneath, I would do the Daphne top. You all know I made that as well. I have made the Daphne top um, and I would do, or I would do the uh, the Cashmere at Harrison shirt, which I have not done yet, but I've been wanting to do. And this may be, that could be the look that I actually, that'll break me to go ahead and um, uh, make that top. And then the cardigan, the fuller, fuller cardigan, easy. Not gonna overthink it, the fuller cardigan for sure. Um, now this purple skirt, I thought this was something I could use my skirt block for. And so I won't, I didn't even really think more about patterns for that. Cause you know, I could use my skirt block for that. But the cardigan, like I just said, the fuller cardigan. Um, but then that top underneath, again, the Daphne top or the Cashmere Harrison shirt. So easy, easy, easy. Again, I look through my stash for what I can use to uh, recreate these looks. Now, this next one is so cute. Um, this is the pink floral with that border. It looks like kind of an embroidery print. I thought the... Um, the cashmere um, Springfield top lengthened into a dress, but using a lighter weight fabric. I think the first time I made this, I used a linen cotton to get the look. Um, but I think I will use this look like it could also be a Georgette or something like that. Um, yeah, maybe just do that. Use a Georgette. Hack the hack the springful top, lengthen it. You all know I did the gaping neckline and all of that um, on that pattern. I probably have to um, retrace that one out because it's it's a little too big for me now. But doing those same adjustments I did before and then lengthening it into a dress, yes. Cause I wouldn't do I wouldn't do a belt because again I'm not really into belts. Um, but yeah, we shall see. We shall see. But I thought that was so pretty. Um, and then the next two looks, um, I'm using the exact same patterns. This first one is this navy um, with the white stripes um, and the uh, cami and then the jacket. The jacket for sure is the Rebecca Page Kingston denim jacket. I already have it. No need to make another one. 
although I'm thinking about making another one in a different color denim but anyway um, I digress <laughs> um, but anyway the um, the one that I already have but then that skirt the perfect pattern for this it's an out of print pattern so it's probably many out there um, that maybe you can find but this is another Kalayla Ali it's an out of print simplicity it is pattern number 2948 view E and let me um, show you that view E you see the higher the wider waistband and then the long skirt piece that is that pattern all day long I was like yes 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 and yes I I could definitely see recreating that look using that pattern and the um, cami the Rebecca Page strappy cami I don't have to go very far <laughs> to um, figure out how to recreate that look but that and I just picked up some fabric that's similar to this because trust me when I tell you I have been um, on the lookout for different fabrics on this board for the past three months because I knew I was going to eventually do this video I was hoping to have some fabrics to show but I don't um, but I did just order this so watch out for my upcoming haul um, but I went ahead and got it's a lighter blue with the the navy blue part is wider and it does have the thinner white stripes if you find something that looks exactly like this definitely let me know but I'll share with you what I found because it's not a navy blue it's more of a a shade lighter than navy but it's still very nice and so I did just recently pick that up that should be coming in the mail any day now but I'll show that in my haul and then when you look down at the tan and um maybe that's black stripe I think um that same pattern the exact same pattern the out of print 2948 um I will use for that and the for the top underneath I would totally do the Rebecca Page cami um and the and I love these colors yes I am going to be looking for these colors and the um the Rebecca Page Kingston jacket all day long so super cute and so then our final look is this black top that she has on. I love the way she has this style. It is a black top with some jeans that was have kind of um, the distressed look. They're cuffed at the bottom. So super cute. I do want to try that technique. Um, and I want to say I've seen that technique in Sewn Magazine. Or maybe they shared it on their Instagram page. I think. But anyway. I do want to try that look um, but easy and that so far as the top it easily the Concord t-shirt um, I could use that for um, to get that look and make because the Concord tee do have a bottom band with kind of the slits on the side I could lengthen that a little bit I probably wouldn't for me I would keep it probably the length that it originally comes to um, but then the jeans either the Ames jeans because you all know I have made the Ames jeans um, or I have this other jean pattern in my stash I've had for quite a while um, McCall's 5894 one of those views uh, to recreate the look um, but yeah I believe that is um, not only are her jeans cuffed I had to look but they're studded and I thought that was really cute that just you know kicked this whole look up just a little bit and so yeah that is it that is it that's everything um, I wanted to share for my mood board this was so much fun to do um, it just really sparked some creative juices and sometimes you know how when you're sewing different projects sometimes you get kind of like oh I don't know what to sew next or mm, I was gonna sew X Y and Z but I don't feel like it uh, let me have a different option so with my mood between my mood board between my Eloquy um, virtual shopping, the seven patterns I picked, and between some other um, patterns that I have that I want to sew up, I think I have enough to really just kind of keep my juices flowing. Some of these are easy. I made sure to mix them with maybe some that don't um, require a lot of thinking, a lot of thought. It's kind of, you know, nice little palette cleansers. But other ones, I will have to do a little bit of uh, pattern hacking, a little drafting between the couple I showed you yesterday and whatnot. And I'm perfectly fine with that. Perfectly fine with that. Again, I'm in no rush to sew up all of these looks. I think between yesterday and today is 22 different looks. I don't have to sew up all 22. Um, but I will create a playlist for my mood board um, 
um, and my Eloquy uh, 7 patterns. So yeah, so you will see that coming up. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, please let me know. If you like this video, definitely don't forget to give it a thumbs up on your way out and don't forget to share it. And yeah, leave your comments down below and I will get back to you as soon as I can. Uh, stay tuned for Sunday. I will have uh, my final make from the month of May up and I'm very excited about that because it was a special project. But anyway, you will see that coming up on Sunday. Thank you all so much for tuning in this week and we will see you in the next video. Bye.